dearest Aunt B. We arrive Thursday, and once again it's raining. It is so dull for the women as there's no form of excitement here. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry for not having written for a month, but I can't begin to tell you what my life has been. The Duke remains despondent by the behavior of his family. The constant whisperings that we supported Hitler and his diabolical behavior are preposterous. The rumors hang over us like a black cloud. In spite of my efforts to cheer him up, he's often inconsolable. Sometimes it seems I have no one but you to lighten my burden. Aunt Bessie, I feel ashamed to admit I feel suffocated by his constant attention, like a child. He continues to bemoan his lack of usefulness, yet how can I change that which I caused? He used me to escape his prison, only to incarcerate me in my own. The U.S. press has practically ruined two people's lives, however. They go on pounding away. It does get one's morale down. But I'm so tired of it all. Even the heart has been acting up. And I've been put to bed for a week's complete rest. No calls, no callers. Everything everywhere seems to get worse and worse, and you can't help but be depressed by it all. We have nothing but a, a series of unpleasant business. I cried myself to sleep last night. No talks to a boy. And today all the lines are down in can. I really can't continue to carry on with all of England taking cracks at me and no decent society speaking to me. What have I done to deserve this treatment? I've never had a word said in my defense or a kind word in the press. Oh, Aunt Bessie, I feel I've disappointed him. Though he'd never let on. I know how badly the Duke wanted children. I'm sorry to bother you, my darling, but I feel like an animal in a trap, and these two buzzards working me up over the way you're losing your popularity through me. Together, I suppose we are strong enough to face this mean world. But separated, I feel even and scared for you, your safety. Hold me tight, please, David. It is not an enemy who has done this thing, but my own familiar friend, familiar friend. Romans of the century. And now I will have to be with him always. And now I'll and always have to be with him always. And always and always.